Good morning guys. March 1st, 2018. Backroads Brenton. Scooter Adventure. Winter. I am near Dothan, Alabama. <clears throat> I left Florida yesterday and uh, I'm going to catch a weather window. I'm going to try to slip back into the Northland. Uh, it's going to be like in the 40s. A little early. I'm going home a little early. I've been on the road. By the time I get home, it'll be about two weeks. But I've got some stuff to do, and I think I've just had enough for this trip. Um, if you do it, if you do this, you kind of just know when you want to go home. I mean, it's nice to have the options, I guess. And uh, maybe I'll do a video on this sometime, but I mean, you can, you can slip in and out of the Northland even in the winter if you do it right. I'll, I've done it and... <laughs> Some pretty sketchy ways. I mean, all the way up on the shore of Lake Superior. So, but uh, okay, I'm gonna start trying to do some topics. Um, I found this spot last night, right before dark. There's a little stream down there, which I took a bath in this morning. It was fantastic. Uh, topic, just a general topic for me this morning. I'll try and make it quick, not waste anybody's time. Just the uh, basic question of you know. Why do I do this? <clears throat> Why am I out here sleeping in the trees, uh, jumping in streams, and, you know, living off of a scooter? Well, <clears throat> that's a good question. I tend to be a pretty restless person. Um, when I'm home, you know, I enjoy it for a couple weeks, and then I have this urge to go do something. And then when I go out and I do something, after a couple weeks, it seems like, you know, the, the time frame, I have this urge to, you know, go home, kick up my feet, uh, relax, and figure out what the next doing something is. So, I don't know if that's a pathology or a problem or a bad thing or a good thing. Um, it just tends to be the way I am. Um, so, also, I live in a place, my home base is what I call it, is in a place with a lot of winter. Um, it's the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I have a little place right on the shore, Lake Superior. Very rustic. I mean, it's not as grandiose as that might sound, but I like it. It's just a little tiny house, basically, right on the beach, and it's fantastic. And I love it. Uh, it's in a little town, dead town. Um, there might be nine jobs there. <clears throat> um, and from about May to the end of November, it's it's basically paradise. I love it. Summer's great. Springs can be a little rainy, you know, but by the time spring comes, you're just appreciating anything that's not, you know, winter. So. Even those are tolerable, but yeah, summer's awesome. Fall is beautiful. I can't wait to start making some videos of that. I mean, it's just, I call it getting a year's worth of living into uh, six months. I mean, it just feels like you're burning the candle at both ends. If you're, if you're seizing it, if you're appreciating it, I just do tons of fishing. Um, I've, got a, I've got a boat and I'll take it out on Lake Superior. I fish all the time. And I go for motorcycle rides, obviously, and there's always projects to do. Um, I don't have a lot of money. I live, I mean, very frugally, and I cannot really afford to pay people to do things for me. So I, uh, I do pretty much everything by myself. You know, I fix my own cars, and I, you know, fix up my own place. And I'm not exceptionally good at any of that stuff, but I, I do it anyways, and... So far, you know, I've been able to figure out just about everything except for I did have to pay someone to uh, swap out the transmission fluid in my Toyota Tundra because we got a really good mechanic in town. And I, it was a two person job, and I just figure sometimes it's worth it to pay someone 100, you know, 170 bucks or whatever to just do it right. But other than that, I mean, you know, like as soon as the weather breaks, I'm going to be replacing the radiator and water pump in my truck and everything. And, you know, just. There's, that's what YouTube's for, that's what Google's for, that's, you know, take your time and 
Just do it. So, anyways, I think I'm rambling again. So, yeah, I basically escape winter. Sometimes you just have to. And, like, just seize opportunities. Like, this trip was, I've got a buddy that uh, bought a little cottage in southern New Jersey. And he needed some help moving. And so I drove a truck out to New Jersey for him. And I put my this scooter in the back of the truck. <clears throat> and then I, I helped him. And then I took off and left from southern New Jersey on a, you know, in a wet, what I call weather windows. And I just started riding south. And that's what I've done on this trip. I went through Virginia and Delaware and Maryland and the Carolinas and into Florida. Um, and now I'm turning back north and I'm gonna go through Alabama the rest of it maybe a little sliver of Mississippi and then into Arkansas which I absolutely love Arkansas it's a place I've thought about you know home basing and maybe I will someday um, especially northern Arkansas I love the mountain home area um, you know the, the Ozarks um, Arkansas Missouri something special to me I, I love that Northland, what would you call that? The heartland. <clears throat> um, but, you know, we'll see. If, uh, you know, if I had the money, I'd probably have two home bases. I would just keep my little place up there in Superior Land. And then I would have a little shotgun shack down in the Ozark somewhere. But when you live like I do, you don't tend to accumulate a lot of money. You just, I don't know, there's an arguments, you know. People work a lot and they have a lot of money and then they get to pay off at the end, hopefully. <clears throat> but while they're working, they don't have a lot of time. And then there's, I guess, the, the more rare type, which would be like someone like me that's just flying by the seat of their pants. And I will never retire because I don't, I don't work a lot. It was funny. I just printed off my earnings for the, I guess, since I've had a social security number for, you know, some reason I had to go send some stuff in. And... <clears throat> There's been years where I did not make any taxable income. And then some of them were like $200. I think the most was I did work for a few years having to do with the oil industry in North Dakota where I made a few bucks. But other than that, I mean, it's like, anyways, off topic again. I mean, you know, why do I ride this Honda Reflex? Because it gets 60 to 70 miles to the gallon. That will just open up the world to you because it's so cheap to to ride, you know? And it was cheap to buy. I paid 1300 bucks for it, and it just goes and goes and goes. You know, here's my tent, which I got for free, basically. I throw a tarp over it when it rains. It did rain a little bit last night, but, I mean, it gets the job done. And... You know, jump in a creek, and I'm not trying to convince anybody to do this. At least I hope I'm not coming across that way. But if I am trying to do anything, it's just maybe show people that you don't need a lot, and you don't need to spend a lot of money to have an adventure or to go out and take a look around. I mean. I've got kind of this, I've always had this idea or notion that you should look around as much as you can in the short amount of time you're on this planet. I mean, life goes by so quick, and I just keep finding that out. And, you know, I look at maps, and I'm like, you know, I'd love to see what blah, 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 and where, where that, what that looks like. And, I've, you know, it's like most people have the screen sickness. They're just home watching TV. They're just on their computers, you know, anybody over 50 or staring at television and <clears throat> anybody under 50 or 40 or staring at their computers. And I mean, I can get sucked into that too. I know what it's like. And that's sometimes I try to jolt myself awake and by saying, I'm just gonna go and I'm, I don't care if I'm comfortable doing it. And I wanna, you know, slap myself back to life. So. There's a little bit of that involved in why I do this. Um, 
uh, that's, I guess that about covers it. I mean, if I, you know, I, I you, you can play the, the mind experiment with you and say, well, if I had more money, <clears throat> you know, would I do it differently? You know, let's just say all of a sudden, you know, for whatever reason, not of any doings of my own, but let's say a windfall of a lot of money came into my life. Would I continue to do it like this? I probably would add some layer of comfort and convenience, but it wouldn't be extravagant. Um, I might have a better bike. I might occasionally stay in hotels if the weather's bad. I, you know, I might eat at restaurants as opposed to go to grocery stores and just get my own food. But that would just be occasional, and I would definitely keep myself honest by this point and just... I don't think that's what it's about. I don't think that that would necessarily make these trips better or I kind of like, you know, the, here's another way to look at it is that we've got it really good. I mean, people have it really good, especially in, if you're here in the U S or, I mean, there's other countries probably have it even better. I'm not a, exactly a patriotic America-centric type of guy, even though I've come to appreciate, be thankful that, you know, I live in America, but by no means does this just apply to Americans, is we've got it pretty good. You know, there, most of history was people just locked down, hand-to-mouth survival. I mean, I, w I went through little towns, even today in 2018, I went through little towns in, like, South Carolina on this trip where I... I often just sit and I watch people, what they're doing, you know, they're sitting around too, you know, and they probably never go anywhere and they, you know, there, it's just, it's just this, uh, hand to mouth existence, this kind of, what do they call it? Quiet desperation, you know, a little bit. So the fact that sometimes I feel very lucky that I'm just rolling through and I can continue on and I can go see what's over the hill. And I value that. Some people don't. And I have had to learn to understand that and accept that. That not everybody wants to go looking around. Not everybody likes traveling. Some people are extreme homebodies. They've got their own thing going on that keeps them on their acre of land or whatever it is, you know. And I can appreciate that. I've, I like having a home base too. And I like working on projects and having to be surrounded by my stuff and... I've had gardens in the summer, and, you know, it's, I get it. I'm not uh, trying to convince anyone to do anything. But if you're like me, and you have this bit of a wanderlust, and you want to go see what's out there, but you don't want to, you know, do it the the way they, they, the quote unquote, they tell you to do it, you know, expensive hotels or cruises or, you know, tours and just being led around and, you know, from gift shop to gift shop or something. I mean, like you just want to go out and do it on your own, <clears throat> self-contained and on the cheap <clears throat> and just see what the world brings you. Then this would be a really good way to do it. In this two weeks I'm out on the road, I might spend, oh, I don't know, three or four hundred bucks. And I could have even spent less. I mean, I, I've given myself a higher food budget than I have often done. I tend to eat like once a day. I just go and get something and at the grocery store and some bananas and some coffee and eat one big meal a day. If you're just sitting in a seat for several hours, you're not exactly burning a lot of calories. And I tend to lose a few pounds in these trips just because I'm not sitting at home, you know, where everything is at arm's length. So I call it the, uh, so I've called it the adventure diet. Sometimes you just got to go do the adventure diet. <laughs> where the, someone said, uh, bur burn the fat off your soul. <laughs> We're burning the fat, fat off our souls. But anyways, I don't know. I hope this finds some value and uh, I better start getting my act on the road today. It's a nice day to travel. And like I said, I'm kind of heading north and it's only March 1st. So I'm going to be catching a little weather window. The last day or two is going to be 
you know, you know, I'll be posting some videos where there's some snow around, but I think it should be just fine. I've done it before, so. Okay, hope you guys are doing well, and I hope there was some value in this. Catch you later.